Hello dear friends of the channel, how the hell y'all doing? Is the summer trading you alright? I hope so. So let me give you a little update on what's happening so far. So I've just wrapped up a little car project I was doing for a homie. I was cutting out and rewelding the firewall from the right hand drive to the left hand drive. Came out pretty good but it was a quite challenging task. And I really appreciate it because it gave me a lot of new skill in welding and also in metalwork in general. And I'm getting a lot into welding in general. I think it's a lot of fun. So I think one of the next projects might be the welding area for the shop. Who knows? The channel is growing little by little and I'm always happy to see new subscribers. A lot of you guys hitting me up on Instagram asking me questions about stuff I make and I'm always happy to reply. The Patreon is still a bit of a, a, bit of a dead meme, let's just put it that way. Two Patreons but going strong. So for today's video, I have a bit of a problem with my camera setup. And to show you, I have to switch to my phone camera. Here we go, that's my camera setup. Uh, it's pretty neat, I have this little monitor so I can see myself, I have a little Rode uh, wireless lavalier thing. However, the problem with this setup is this, and this is just retarded. I power my camera and monitor from the, from the wall uh, and the cable. How the hell did I come up with this? This is not very, not very practical, let's just put it this way. Uh, you know, I carry my camera around the shop to film stuff and I have to plug the cable somewhere like there or there or there. Uh, but it's a pain in the butt. So today, I think I'm gonna try to fix it. Uh, what I want to do is to make a little uh, unit, let's say, uh, that is going to power this whole setup. Why don't I just use the batteries? for the monitor and for the camera, you may ask, because they die real quick when I film something and I have to go and change them. And that's just an awful process and it makes, makes me hate making videos. So I have five of these uh, 18 volts, uh, 2.5 amp uh, batteries. I also have two chargers. This one was heavily damaged by fire, as you can see, uh, however, I can still use that part. And that part is where you attach the battery. Did you get the idea already? So I think I'm gonna use that part to power the unit. The input voltage for my monitor is from seven to, I believe, 20 volts. So it should work just fine. And to power the camera, I need to step it down from 18 volts to five volts. I just happen to have a little, yeah. I just happen to have a tiny little voltage step down thing. It has a really tiny potentiometer that you can adjust to set the voltage that you like. And I want to have two of the little USB ports where I can plug my camera. And we also gonna need a little plug to plug in the monitor. And we also gonna need a little switch. And a little plug like this to go into my monitor. And back to the, to the unit thing. Let's do it, my guys. The sanding this just blew up, holy Christ. Alright, so the plans are changing a little bit. So at first I wanted to have two USB ports where I could connect my camera and power it like that. But it didn't work because the camera couldn't recognize the USB device or some bullshit like that and it wouldn't work. And then I came up with a different idea. So I took one of my old batteries for camera, I took it apart, I took out the actual battery thing from it, then I set my voltage regulator to 8 volts. And I connected it to the little board that was inside the battery and put it in the camera and it worked beautifully. So basically I just made a little dummy battery with the cable 
that's gonna go into our unit. The voltage regulator was not heating at all when I was testing this whole contraption. So I think I'm gonna put it inside the battery as well. And this way I will be able to power my camera from pretty much any power supply that is more than eight volts, which I think is kind of cool. So I went to the store and got myself one of those nice uh, project boxes. I also got myself a pair of these things. I'm gonna use them to attach the box to the tripod. So I think now is the time to assemble everything. Guess what? My camera setup is working only from my little unit. And let me show you. I'm so excited about this one. It's gonna make my life so much easier. Uh, so this is the little unit. It is mounted on a tripod like this. I have a little switch with the LED here. I can switch the battery anytime I want. I have plenty of those. And my whole setup working only from this unit. You see the monitor and the camera. Bruh. No more cables for me. This is so awesome. Let's see. I can bring my camera anywhere I want. Ah, good stuff. Thank you bros for watching. Let me know what do you think about this one. Don't forget to subscribe, check out the Patreon and I'm really rushing home right now. So I'm gonna end it right here. Goodbye.